They went in the water. Are they in the water? They just went in it. I think I think give it a shot. You think you can get a touch closer? Yeah. Bit too loud. Well, I hope you don't see another like my first shot. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his neck. Oh, man. He's a damn good one. Yeah. I shot him right on the spine. Oh, that was free handing, and that dropped him. Just right on the run, you shot him? Jeez. We were all three of us running, and it was a bush, and I stepped behind the front of the bush to the side, and he, when he come out, that old barrel was going like this, and I finally got it steady enough. And yeah, me and Lucas seen it, and we started running t to get a good view at it because we were in the the wash down there. And but then we just hear you gunshot, and you got him down. Okay, we're gonna head out and just check for a big sable um ph jason was talking about so i'll just check it out and maybe we'll see a roan or something else maybe i'll spring back for you so yeah i'll just check it out You can go get us a beautiful sable. Perfect one. Yeah, we just spotted some sable up from there and we're gonna go. He's just down in these trees.
And the perfect shot, eh? You're right there. Perfect. <laughs> That's where you shoot every animal, boys. Yeah, we should take a picture and show that, you know, show people where you shoot them. That's where you shoot them. That's one year. That's perfect. Beautiful. Yeah. Very good, Lucas. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lucas. Huh? What do you say, oh, naughty? It's good. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Yes. Tobe, Tobe, Tobe. Thing, uh, we were out for some good sable. Uh, Trevor's looking for a bull with a nice D shape. Uh, we saw a few that was more straight and didn't have the nice curve. Um, went up on some high hills and just to see if we can spot them grazing into the sun and eventually we we saw this big bull with about four or five others another biggish bull joined up with them and uh, we tried to get above them and they just kept moving and eventually we got to this rock face where as soon as we walked over they were right below us they were probably 50 60 yards and uh, they wanted to run so they just went down into the valley about 200 yards uh, told Trevor just to put, the, put him right on the shoulder shot him a perfect shot broke the shoulder he probably went another 50 yards and uh, he was down and oh boy I'm happy for Trevor this is his big animal so yeah congratulations yeah. Trevor well thank done you. a perfect shot and a thank perfect you. animal thank you honestly got him the camera very Yeah. That's a big mile. Okay, keep coming down, boy. Keep running down. <laughs> we decided to do the red road. Um, we know there's quite a few blessed buck and uh, red hartebeest and blue wildebeest here. So uh, we were looking actually for blue wildebeest. We spotted this beautiful blessed buck chasing some females on the mountainside. And we set up Luke on the sticks. It was about a 250 yard shot on a probably 45 degree angle, uh, which is not an easy one. But Luke put a perfect shot in him, he stumbled probably another 20 yards and he went straight down. And uh, he's an old Beautiful, beautiful blessed buck. Well done, buddy. Some great hey, shooting. Thanks. Having some yeah. good fun with you. Good one, he's down. <laughs> he's good. He says he pays his path. Now the work starts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's got it. What do you think of your blue? Pretty. Well done. <sighs> well done. Thanks, Honor. <laughs> Great shot. Thanks, Lucas.
You see blood? Yes. Yeah? Where was he? Right there? There's nothing left of that shore. And uh, we just took a drive after lunch to get to the back of the mountain. We spotted this beautiful old red heart of his pool. And uh, Dave decided to, to, he's going to shoot him. And we had a little good stalk to a little cliff and looked down on them. They busted us and ran away. Uh, we got a little closer. We ranged and I think in about 250 yards. And he ran to about 300. Dave had a shot at him. He shot him just, just low um, on the shoulder. But because he broke the shoulder, um, I knew he wasn't going to go anywhere. So we just followed him and he shot him a perfect second, second kill shot. And uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful red heart. It's a very old bull. I don't think this winter would have been nice on him. Um, his teeth is all worn down. He's got some fantastic mass and good length on him and I'm super happy for you David. Thank you. You, you deserve this one. Okay. He's a beauty. Wonderful. Well done. <laughs> so this is Max. He's the cook here at Hunter Hill. What are you cooking today? Uh, today we're having a trick for smear. Um, as a starter we're having a broccoli soup. Uh, sorry, uh, cauliflower soup served with a garlic bread. Mm. And then our main course is chicken garden bleu with baked potatoes and uh, sweet potatoes and s steamed broccoli to go with. As a dessert, we are having a, a chocolate cake topped with a frozen uh, panna cotta. Then as, as you can see now, this is my sauce which will be used for the dessert. Oh wow, that's fancy. Yes. You're a good cook, Max. Thank you very much. I was <laughs> trying my best every day. Yeah. <laughs> the coos deer. They have in their throats. Yeah, when you when they butcher a coos. <laughs> How's your food, Grandpa? Delicious. Yeah. yeah it looks delicious.